what's up guys welcome back to my channel today tonight this morning whatever i'm gonna give y'all a short team haul because there's something in this order that i've been sitting on for a while that i really need to pull out and i didn't want to just pull the item out and not at least give y'all something you know what i mean so um it's late and abby has already gone to sleep and he's asleep he has to get up for work in a couple hours and um i am not far behind i'm gonna try to be going to bed here in the next half hour or so <laughs> so um but either or at least the next hour but i'm gonna give y'all a short team haul um Do I want to pull up my tablet and give you prizes? No, because honestly, I don't know what I'm right off the bat what I'm going to be pulling out. Um, and it may be from different orders because there's technically items in this bag from two different orders. Um, sorry, I was on the customer chat with Timu about the whole Timu circle thing and they're only telling me it's not available to everyone yet wait for the re um rejoining um event something like that anyway um so I you know I've been shut out of my Timu circle for like a month now and yeah, that was nails. I don't know if I'm going to show y'all those or not. Um, but I'm just... Anywho. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get into this. I'm not going to do a lot of, of talking. Um, just know that the day I'm recording this it is the morning of July the 18th. July the 18th okay this package was delivered to me this is an older package I think this is actually my oldest one that I still have um if it's not the oldest it's right up there with the oldest but I looked it up y'all I've been sitting on this package since May the 23rd just short of two months ago and for those of you, if you don't understand what I mean when I say I've been sitting on this package, it means it was delivered to me on May 23rd. And just because I show y'all something does not mean that I haven't been sitting on it for a while. Because someone in my comments on my nail haul video got a little upset and they thought that I had spent a lot of money on nails that I didn't have to spend. That was another package that I had been sitting on for a very long time. And I just never found the opportunity to film the haul. Um, I was waiting on perfect conditions, on just the right conditions. But in the end, ultimately, I gave up and just said, you know what? Take it as it is. But I do want to let y'all know that... Just because you see me haul a big package like this does not mean that I bought it all at once or recently. So, um, this the nail haul, especially the nail haul, was purchased well before my Ohio trip. Much before, very very much before my Ohio trip. Um, again, I just didn't have the opportunity to film it um but again this order has been sitting in my house since may 23rd so i'm gonna get into this um i'm just gonna go ahead and put prices on the screen i'll put everything down below in the description box um you'll also find my um my discount code and my affiliate links i don't make a big deal about it it's down there if you want it um, discount code, you do get 30% off your first order. Affiliate link, you will get a $100 coupon bundle um, on your first order. 
after you place your first order, um, within an hour of you joining and redownloading the app and joining and stuff. And I do want to get a shout out to whoever it was that used my affiliate link, I think. I think that's how you did it. Um, but someone made use of my uh, affiliate link and um, redownloaded the app and made a purchase because I do get a little bit of something from that. So, thank you. So, I'm going to get into this. Um, oh, my fish land and farm line codes are also down there right below my affiliate stuff. So, um, I'm just going to show you all a little bit. I'm going to try not to go too long on this. I'll give you maybe about half an hour or so. It's going to be a short haul. So, the first thing I want to pull out is these right here. This was what I needed to get into. And yes, I did go ahead and pull them out of the bag. Um, so, this these are the 28 compartment storage boxes that I use for my nails. Um, and after doing my nail haul, I definitely need these. So there's 48 more places for more nails. I do have a little bit more room in a couple of my boxes that I already have. So I'm hoping between the nails that I hauled in that video and then a couple of nails in the order before that, I'm hoping I have enough. If not, I'll just order another box. I need to order another box anyway. So, I actually probably need to order two more boxes. They're in my cart. So, um, I don't, I don't, and I, I refuse to pay more than a dollar for those. Um, I probably paid 40 or 50 something cent maybe for those. The ones that are currently in my cart, I think are at like maybe 57 cents right now or 58 cents. Um, and I'm going to be ordering those here soon. I, I definitely need to go ahead and order them anyway. So the next thing, another thing that I need to pull out, I need to go ahead and make use of, is a, um, what would you call this? It's a towel bar. That's what you would call it. It's a towel bar. Um, and this has a flat, the flat back. Um, just a towel bar that you would actually stick onto your wall and it does have the um, the tape thing so this is your 3m tape so you take this put it on there and you stick this on your wall and you have a towel bar um we had a towel bar in our bathroom a couple years ago and the screw actually broke through the sheetrock. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to try this and see if it works. I'm, I'm going to try and see how it does. Um, because I, I needed a towel bar that was capable of being stuck to the wall and not being screwed in. So, and it's... I mean, it's it's a little tight like that. I'm just very afraid it might come off. Um, but we'll see. It doesn't look. I don't think we're going to be moving this around too much. But we really just need a, a towel bar to hang a towel on in our little half bath in our room. So yeah, I gotta try that out. See if it works. And I'm not even gonna bother putting it back in the bag because I'm gonna try to hang that up tomorrow. It does come with some instruction. Um, and it does give you an instruction for how to drill it in. Although I don't see how you would do that. Um, because there's just like a big hole on the back. It's just a big hole like that on the back. So I don't know how you would drill that in. I guess it's if you got a towel bar that had a drill in. Yeah, I don't know. Cause there's no there's no screw cap cover or anything anyway it gives you instructions if you should need them although they're not really that helpful anyway so the rest of this i'm just gonna pull some stuff out um right off the bat i'm looking at this right here 
Um, these are for headphones. I do try to keep the plastic down to a minimum. I'm also not trying to um, have a lot of trash tonight. <laughs> because I have to go and put all this stuff away. So these are just, this is just a, a storage box for headphones. I think these will actually fit, this will actually fit my daughter's headphones a little bit better than the one that I got than this one. This is the one her headphones currently sit in. Um, and I don't know, it might be about the same size. It's a little bit smaller. So probably her headphones I'm going to end up putting in here. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you. Um, so these are hers. They technically have the cat ears on them. And then I can put mine, my good ones, in this one. So, this is just the, um, the jack cord, um, for her headphones. Come on now. Because they technically, they have wireless capabilities, but they did come with a jack cord, just in case. And this one only has a really tiny, really tiny thing to put those in. So I'm going to try to put that cord in there. And, hold on. So this is her headphones, and they did, they did, they do supposed to have cat ears on them, but you can take them off. Um, it's a tight fit. It's going to be a tight fit. So, let's see. Yeah. So it's going to be a tight fit, but they do fit. Doc said these are her headphones. Um. Zipper is really nice, and it has a nice little wristlet strap that you can clip onto here. That come on, had you, and then I lost you. It's a nice little wristlet strap for carrying. So this is going to be her new box for her headphones. She doesn't use them that often, but she does use them sometimes. And it's like, it's just a little bit smaller than the uh, full size one, the regular size one. So you're going to go over there. So I guess I can give you all some nails. Um, so these are just some really pretty, um, have like the purple glitter, the teal um, turquoise glitter. Got some rhinestones on there. I don't want to give y'all a whole too many nails tonight because the lighting in here sucks. Um, these are some handmade ones. And I got these in a large. These are like a rainbowy um chromish kind of color. But then one of them has glitter and a few rhinestones on them. Really pretty. That's the handmade handmade nails. I think my next video is going to be um, me organizing my nails. Um, I have a few more here and then I'll probably try not to show y'all anymore. So these are some ones with black, and then that one, uh, one has the glitter on it. Uh, these are, um, they have like the leopard print on them. And yes, they are a little bit long for me, but if I, if I find nails that are real long, I do try to find ones that have design on them that is suitable to be able to cut down and not lose the design like these because you can see where the 
leopard print stripe, it runs vertically. So if I cut them down, you don't lose any of that design. You still get the same effect. Um, and then these are just solid. So, and then these are really cute. I thought these were cute. These have um, the hearts on them, little pink hearts. If y'all can see the little pink hearts are so cute. Super cute. <laughs> Somebody thanked me in one of their videos for saying super cute. Um, and then who was it? Um, I think her name's Tammy from Fabulously Fat and Disabled. I was watching her video this morning and she thanked me for spoiling y'all for trying on earrings. <laughs> that's just what I do. I would like to know how earrings fit. So that's why I do them for y'all. So this is a um, case. It's a hard shell case for my um, MacBook. So I needed a new one because my other one was getting kind of... I had to take it off the other day. I don't have it here with me, but I had to take it off. Um, my MacBook is not currently in my possession, but um, it will be again tomorrow. So, just a really cute clear um, with the flowers on it. My MacBook is silver, so there's going to be like a silver background on this once I put it on. And then it does come with the, um, the bottom case too, so it's top, front and, top and bottom. Um, what else are we going to put out here? Um, let's take some shoes here. Um, these are some really cute sandals. Um, I saw these and I thought I would give them a try because they have the, um, the shoe tie on them. So I thought maybe they might be a little bit adjustable. So just some really cute sandals. some really cute sandals. I do have these in different colors that you can get. I like the one with the gold and the, the teal and white flowers. And this, this part right here is mesh. So really cute. Um, am I going to be able to see, get these out? I don't know. Luckily my foot is up. My problem foot is up here with me. Um, so, I'm going to see if these will actually adjust. Because um, there's nothing worse than a shoe making you think it's adjustable when it's not. So, it means I got to undo this shoe tie. Sorry, I'm just watching the time. Um, the video time. To see, this is not easy. You can untie it, um, but it's not the most fun. <sighs> Let me just see how this is gonna work. And the reason why I needed this um, adjustable sandal is because one of my feet is more swollen than the other one. And it doesn't help I already have flat feet. So, um, hold on. So I think if I can get this open a little bit more, I think it'll be great. But it's just gonna take some work to get to, um, get this to open like I want it to. But, I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to see this. See if I can. Sorry, I'm not flexible, y'all. I'll let y'all know I'm not flexible. 
sorry. But yeah, um, it does, um, it does open up. So if you have some some swelling on your feet, is they are fully adjustable. Um, and I think these are going to be great. I really do. So what else we got here? Bring y'all back in just a little bit. I apologize for the lighting, guys. So diamond painting. It's the supernatural diamond painting. I, I, I couldn't resist. I am picky about my diamond paintings. Um, so I saw this and I compared the size of it and I thought maybe it might work okay. But we'll see. So, I might have to put up a picture of what it looks like. And there is, these aren't in any kind of baggy. Goodness gracious. But this is the picture. It is Sam Dean and Castiel. And I'm trying to look. I love how it's side. Why is the grid sideways? Like, like it goes like this, right? But why is the grid sideways? Can somebody tell me? <laughs> Did they print it out sideways? Was their machine just not big enough to do? I don't know that doesn't make any sense um but this looks like an image that has been just had a grid superimposed on top of it not really much actual charting of it so but either or the canvas is it's not stiff which is a change of pace pretty sticky um the colors um, standard boat wax and pen. There's your colors. Some really bright oranges and reds in there. I'm a little surprised. Be interesting to see how it turns out. So. I said they didn't even bother to try to put put these in any kind of um, bag or anything. Lots of black. Lots of black. Anyway. So, um, 25 colors. It's the the order on it is weird. It's like the symbols go one A, two B, three C, four D, five E, six F, seven G, eight H, J K L M N P Q R S. So they're they're kind of mixing in the numbers with the letters, but they're in order. I don't know. Just a cute little supernatural diamond painting. Uh, how are we on time? What is this? Oh, this is a pack of bras. I'm just pulling out things that look interesting. <laughs> I'll probably be left with um, a haul next time that has just like a bunch of little stuff in it. And this is just a pack of like sports bras. And I got a 2X, which might actually be kind of big. Maybe not. Um, and I'm glad I got, I'm, I'm seeing these because I almost got another bra that was similar. Um, but just a mixed pack. You have like this really bright orange salmon -y color. You got this kind of dusty purpley gray color. Um, lavender. And black. So it was a four pack of bras. And in case anybody's wondering, I'm about a 42D or 42, 42C or maybe a 40D. 
some somewhere around there. So, and this is a 2X. Looks like it's gonna be pretty good. Just snug enough, so. But I will let you guys know how those fit. See what else we got? What is this? Oh, these are the shavers. Um, I went ahead and got a two pack of the um, eyebrow trimmers. Um, comes in like I said, two pack. That's what that means. Um, so let's take one out. So, I think these run on batteries, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it runs on a battery. Comes comes out like that. It looks like it runs on a AAA. So, I'm going to have to put one in there. I don't have a AAA on me right now. And I'm not getting up. So, just a cute eyebrow trimmer. Wait, telling y'all I'm gonna get a handle on these caterpillars um so and then it came with a guard I think I think that's what it's supposed to be right um, you know you have a guard um, and one side is longer and one side is shorter and then you have like a little brush to clean it out with Be careful. That guard is kind of snug. So, and it's cute little, and it's your, your switch right there. Don't look like it's any um, adjustable speed or anything. Just an on off switch. So, super cute. Just a, and I got a two pack of them. That way, in case I don't know, lose one or I don't know, take one on vacation. So what else we got here? Um, I don't want to show that right now. I know what that is, but I don't want to show it right now. It's a towel. So this, I think this is a nightgown. I think. I wish I had this. Ooh, this is soft super soft. Where's the front? Where's the front? Okay, so this is, yeah, this is a nightgown. Um, it's just, there's nothing written on it or anything. It's just a long nightgown. Uh, it has this cute little, um, uh, flutter sleeve. Um, and then it has, like, pockets at the bottom. I like pockets. So. I'm going to try to, if I have a chance in the morning, I will maybe try that on for y'all. But, um, and I did get this probably in the biggest size I could find, which was a 5X. Yes, 5X. Super soft, guys. Oh my gosh, this is soft. Probably completely polyester. It feels like polyester, but it's super soft. Keep it in the bag until you're sure that you're going to keep it. Just in case, Timmy wants it back. Um, hair nets, I think this is a four pack or five pack. One, two, three, four, five, five or six pack. Five pack, okay. Just a five pack of hair nets for wig usage. Nothing spectacular. I got a I got an email either 
late yesterday or early this morning, I can't remember. But it was from a weed company. Saying, we think you would be perfect. Not a, it wasn't an email, it was actually in my comments. Um, wanting me to team up with them to promote their wigs. I haven't responded yet, but I don't actually wear wigs. Hardly ever. But yet I'd buy them. Because one day I'm probably going to need them. Um, so next up we have a five pairs of socks. I know y'all saw me get the bamboo socks um, a while back. But I wanted to just get some regular cotton socks. Um, and these seem okay. These seem pretty good. Um, not, not real thick. They're standard. Just your standard sock. Kind of a basic sock. Nothing special about them. Um, they feel like cotton, actually. Um, this is a five pack of five pairs of these socks. I wish it would tell you what um what they were made of. Oh, it does on the bag. So this is a ninety five percent polyester, five percent spandex, but they feel like cotton, which is weird. So just some basic. Basic socks. Uh, let's see what else is there. Uh, we have an onion keeper. Uh, never seen one of these. And suppose you suppose you figure out a way to get into this. Of course, I don't. That works too. I'm trying to figure out how it worked, the heck the the seam is. But it's just an onion keeper. This one is, feels kind of thin actually. It feels thinner than the last one I got. Um but this is an onion keeper. Suppose you like just use half of an onion and you want to save the rest for later. You just put it in here. And it's a thicker container so it will help uh, save your onion um a little bit longer but i am it's hard to grip this thing i can't tell if it's supposed to be yeah you do turn it but i'm wondering if it's even worth it though i don't know maybe but it's kind of hard to grip you know, especially if you have small hands like i do just an onion keeper. Because I needed another one. Again, I think that's kind of thinner. It's not as it's not quite as heavy duty as the other one that I have. Um I will show you this one. This is super cute. It's another diamond painting-ish thing. Um, but I didn't know this was gonna be like all in a picture print. I thought it was just gonna be a square diamond painting. Um, but I'm gonna have to take it out. So, if you've been following my channel, you know my daughter is a big fan of Minnie Mouse. And Mickey Mouse, too, but, I mean, she's a girl, so Minnie Mouse. Um, but, this is just a cute little, it's a Minnie Mouse diamond painting. But it comes with the frame to put it in. So, when you get it done, I think what you do is you open this up. Here's your couple of colors of diamonds right there. Comes with a cute little um, oval shaped boat. Pen and some wax. Um, when you get the diamond painting done, you pop this off. You pop the back of this off and you put it in there. And you instantly, you know, have a um, framed diamond painting. So it comes with the frame. So, really cute. Um, my only issue is that it looks like it's... Like all this look... Um, 
what might be outside of that drill field is not going to show. So only what's in the drill field is what's going to show. So you're going to lose a little bit of the actual picture itself. But not the diamond painted area. So just a cute Minnie Mouse. And like I said, came with the standard, um, you know, standard colors for a Minnie Mouse. I'm going to put this back in her bag so that everything is all together. Uh, maybe I'll give you one more thing and then I will let you guys go. Um, so these are some pens and these are some Pisces pens. Uh, and these are like, they have things written on them that are basically described as Pisces. Um, this is, this is how they come by the way, in case anybody's wondering. They're stuck to the card. So. So, yeah. Like that. Um, and then they're just, they're clipped through. Um, so, they say, I just have so many emotions. Um, sure, am, sure am worried about everything today. Why be quiet when you, when you can radically overshare? Guilty. Your life can't fall apart if you never had it together. <laughs> um, and then can't forget to cry today. So, super cute. Um, you can see what's written on them. Super cute. And that was a five pack of pens. Do they, I don't even know what color they write. Um, they're pretty lightweight. There's not, you can tell there's not much, probably not much ink in here. Um, so, they write, they write black. So, they write pretty good, I guess. Not perfect. Yeah, they write okay. So, yeah. That looks like probably a 0.5 millimeter um, tip. Or maybe a point seven. It's a it's a bigger chip, so maybe it's a point seven. Good help. Probably ah. not. No. No, it doesn't tell. But yeah. There you go. So um, I think that's gonna do it for tonight. Um, I don't think there's anything else in here I need to share with y'all right now. Um, what is that? Not for sure. There's, there's a quite a few, there's a little bit more clothing in here. And I'm going to wait before I show y'all that. Clothing and nails. You know, standard stuff. But that's all I'm going to give y'all tonight. Because I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Um, and all this was literally just to pull out a couple of items. So... But I'm going to let y'all go. I will be back soon. I promise. And maybe I can give y'all the rest of this bag. It depends on how long it takes. So, but I'm going to see y'all guys soon. And until then, don't forget, if you saw anything that you liked in this video, don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up. You know, I like seeing those. And let me know down in the comments what your favorite thing was in, the, in, the, in this order. And if you haven't subscribed yet, but you keep coming, coming back to my channel, just go ahead and subscribe. It helps me out. Helps you guys out, especially when you hit that notification bell. Um, it'll let you know when I upload new videos. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Ending these videos is always the hardest part. You know what I mean? Um, if you do videos, you probably know what I mean. But, but that's it, guys. Um, I'm gonna let y'all go. I will see you soon. And until then, be good, guys. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.